Hello and welcome back. This is your midweek encouragement. I hope you're doing well. Um, we are going to be in Proverbs chapter 26 this week. The teacher is going to focus in on three specific types of folly. Laziness, loose lips, and lying. Let's look at what they have to say here. Proverbs chapter 26, starting in verse 13. It says, The sluggard says there is a lion in the road. There is a lion in the streets. As a door turns on its hinges, so does a sluggard on his bed. The sluggard buries his hand in the dish. It wears him out to bring it back to his mouth. The sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can answer sensibly. Whoever meddles in a quarrel not his own is like one who is, takes a passing dog by the ears. Like a madman who throws firebrands, arrows, and death is the man who deceives his neighbor and says, I'm only joking. For lack of wood, the fire goes out, and where there is no whisper, quarreling ceases. As charcoal to hot embers and wood to fire, so is a quarrelsome man for kindling strife. The words of a whisperer are like delicious morsels. They go down to the inner parts of the body. Like the glaze covering the earthen vessel are fervent lips with an evil heart. Whoever hates disguises himself with his lips and harbors deceit in his heart. When he speaks graciously, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Though his hatred be covered with deception, his wickedness will be exposed in the assembly. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it, and a stone will come back on him who starts it rolling. A lying tongue hates its victims, and a flattering mouth works ruin. So as we look through these, um, and as we explore these, he starts out by observing the, the sluggard, the lazy person, the one who is as a slug. Um, and he says, the sluggard is one who fabricates danger. He says, there's a lion, there's this in the streets, with the purpose of not then having to go out and do something themselves. It's this idea that that laziness and the person who suffers and, and, and has given themselves into the foolishness of laziness, they create excuses and they create reasons for them to continue to be lazy, to continue to be a sluggard. Ironically, Proverbs tells us that though the sluggard does not work, they cannot rest. And there's something, there's something very, very key in here to how God has created us. God made us for work. He says that the, the sluggard, though he does not work, he cannot rest. Laziness kills ambition. Like if, if, we, are, if we are idle, it's okay to rest. But rest presumes that there was something that was not rest before it. And if, if we give in to laziness and this idea of, of being a sluggard, it kills ambition. May we not do that. Laziness kills satisfaction and it kills growth. Next, he moves on to those people who are loose-lipped. And he says, people who want to speak about matters that are not their business do so to create trouble. In short, mind your business. This does not mean that we don't speak um, into someone's life or give correction or give encouragement in, in a time, but we need to be discerning on when that's appropriate or when we're meddling. It says that those <clears throat> who, who lie or tell lies or try to deceive someone and then say, oh, I'm just joking, I'm just kidding. It says that they light fires. Um, the destruction then is, is going to be tantamount as to a fire. Those who who gossip about others or glare at others as, as they enter a room, they make matters worse. It's this idea that loose lips sink ships. It causes dissension amongst the people involved and we need to do away with it. Finally, the, the teacher says a liar cannot be trusted if that needed to be explained and that a liar will eventually be exposed. He says whoever digs a pit will fall into it, and whoever begins the stone rolling will have it come back on them. A liar ruins relationships. Liars make bad friends, and they make hurtful people, and we need to do away with it. Let's pray together. Dear Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for your word. I just pray that as we observe what your word says about 
about laziness and loose lippedness and, and lying. I pray that you would help us to remove those things far from us, that we would seek to um, pursue our relationships and our work habits and, and our words in a way that honor you, God. We love you and thank you. Help us to honor you with the rest of our week. In your name we pray. Amen. Ready, y'all. Uh, no youth group this week. Um, we will be out of town, but we will be back next week for family bowling and regular youth group. So I uh, hope you guys are enjoying your summer. I love y'all, and we'll see you soon. Bye now. Mm-hmm.